Okay, so today I'm working on one of my SD800s, Marantz. There's nothing wrong with it at all. I'm just changing something. Okay, if you look inside of here, there's no access, okay, inside of there except for this little tiny hole right here now what i like to do is i like to get a q-tip in here so i can clean the pickup reel and i can also you know put some chemicals on that idler tire okay so i like to have a nice access port right here okay now the Marantz sd800 has this really nice cutout right here, okay? And you can get all in there, okay? So, I'm gonna take this metal plate from a, a Marantz 1810, and I'm gonna put it inside the SD800. And that will give me the access that I want, okay? So, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the deck. It's totally badass. And this is one of the ones I record music with. So, but the top has to come off. I have to lift it up. There's some screws in the bottom. And the mechanism itself has to come out because of these little tiny screws and that's the only way to get this metal plate out. So when I come back, the top is gonna be off. So I'm gonna pause this video. Okay, with the top off, I have to tilt it up onto its side. There's a couple screws in the bottom that have to come off. Okay, right underneath the mechanism, there's three screws, one, two, and three. So these three have to come out. Okay, so this screw has to come out. This screw over here that has a ground wire has to come out. This little tiny spring is going to need to be unhooked. This is for the record lever. Okay. So once I get those out, I'm going to lay a, a little towel down right here. And I'll set the mechanism on top of the towel. Okay. So let me get these two screws out. Disconnect that spring and then I can lay this mechanism down. Okay, so every little project has its little hiccups, okay? So I had to take the face off and all that crap. So back to the original subject. Okay, right here, this metal plate, like I said, there's no access for cleaning anything okay for cleaning the pickup wheel or the idler tire so these two little screws right here have to come out okay so once they're out this plate will come off okay so this little plate lifts right out of here okay now you can see there's the idler tire and the pickup wheel this is what I want to have access to, okay? This is the whole reason why I wanted to do this, so. And yes, I did drop one of those tiny black screws down inside that fucking mechanism, so I'll have to get it out of there, which means turning this whole thing upside down. Okay, so we'll get to that. Okay. So you can see this one has a gigantic cutout, 
okay, compared to this one, okay? So, <clears throat> now this is from a Marantz 1810. <clears throat> And that's the best part about these Marantz cassette decks. His parts are interchangeable. Now that gives me a real nice access, okay, with the Q-tip. I could get in there and I can clean this pickup wheel, clean that idler tire, do whatever I want to do, okay. So that's excellent. All right, now I got to put them little black screws in there. All right, so that plate's in there. Screws are in. Time to put the mechanism back into the frame. Okay. So I only bolted in the top screws and connected the ground wire. Okay, so, but it's in, mechanism is in, okay, press play, perfect, okay, fast forward, rewind will only work for a few seconds and then the auto stop should kick in, perfect. Okay, so there you go. Perfect access to the take up wheel and to the idler tire. Excellent. So just got to put some screws in the bottom, stick the face on it, put the wooden cabinet on it, and then I only have one more of them to do, which means. I will have to get out the drill, okay, and make this much bigger, okay, so, you know, I have a couple other ones, you know, three of them in total that I can butcher, you know, so. This one is from the SD800, so it would make sense to drill a hole in this one and then put it back on. Okay, so, but that's another cassette deck for another day. So, let me get this fucking thing put back together. I gotta flip it up on its side, put some screws in it. Okay, so these little screws are in. Don't tighten them until you have them all in, okay? Because you might have to wiggle the mechanism a little bit. So just put them in loosely at first, then crank them down, okay? So <clears throat> time to put the face on it. Okay, face is on, mechanism's in. Everything's screwed down. The spring is put back on the record lever down the bottom. Okay. Everything's looking good. So. <clears throat> Just watch it work for a second. Looks good. I'm going to get out a Q-tip. And I'm going to put a little bit of Rubber Renew. Just on these two idler tires right here. So. Just because I'm in here. So. And then I can put the top on. 
don't sit there sniffing this stuff. Poisonous, toxic, flammable. So put the lid back on it. And then to dispose of the Q-tip in like a Ziploc baggie or something like that. So. Okay, so that Rubber Renew does really good. It takes away the shine. Okay. Makes them nice and grippy. Only takes a minute to dry. So, they look brand new again. So, all right, put the lid back on it, and this fucker's done. All right, so this video is completed, and that looks good. The only difference is there's no little orange square inside of it. Okay, this little tiny square, which they really only put it in there for the cassette decks that had a lamp, a little light. This one never had a light. Okay, now the Marantz 1810, they put that orange square on the door. On the mechanism part okay so there's no way to really transfer that all right it's the exact same thing as this okay now if I wanted to I could cut this down to size okay just cut off the excess and I could take a little 3M double-sided tape. And I could stick it on there. But that's kind of stupid. So, when you got a cassette tape in it, you ain't going to notice this orange square is missing. And to be completely honest, if you come to my house and say, Hey man... You're missing a little orange square in your cassette deck. You're going to be going to the dentist for a whole bunch of new front teeth. Right? Okay? So, just kidding. But this project is completed. And this deck now has a nice new access panel. Love it. All right. That's it for this video. This is finished. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Party on.